Okay, folks, so um, the overarching energy for this super full moon that's coming up on Thursday, 31st of August. So I actually went to my organ or organ um, tree sticks for the overarching energy. Uh, I will also pull some cards. I'll record that separately though. So if you just want an over, you know, an overview um, of what this, the energy of this super full moon is all about, then this is the video for you. Okay. If you want more in depth, that will come with the cards. So what we've got, this is broom and gorse. And this one, it's on its side, is birch. Okay. So broom <coughs> is all about broom. So broom was used to make brooms. So it's funny enough, all these three are around energy clearing. So if you're going to do any kind of ritual on this dip full moon, have a good clear first. So sweep. Um, what I tend to do is I tend to sweep out the room where we do the rituals. Sweep that out of the room and then also sweep the landing and then down the stairs I have done that quite a few times in the past so you're literally sweeping the energy out the door does that make sense um, so you can clear it on a physical level and you can also clear it on an etheric level with incense or um, everyone goes sage uh, but in actual fact, cedar wood. Cedar wood's amazing for clearing energy. Okay. Uh, or you can make an incense, like a, a clearing incense, or if you feel like you need to, a banishing incense. Um, so yeah, broom is all about clearing energy. Uh, but the other way you can do it is by bringing in the light. So you can do some kind of a, funny enough, we're day two into a DNA activation, activating the light. That's really funny. This is this is these that these have come up. These sticks is quite amazing. Um, so you can do any kind of DNA activation, switching on the light and the DNA, that type of thing. Um, if you are looking at our videos in the live videos, um, there's loads. When we were doing the the meditation circle for that was what June August I think it was the beginning of September for at least six months I think we stopped it in February this year so that's about six months we were doing that for uh, every single one of those I think uh, there was a DNA activation in there so any of those you can choose to do that work. Uh, this is also around soul travel and restoring harmony, so balance. Because both the full moon and the dark moon are still points. So this super full moon, um, you could do any kind of path working, meditation, um, anything that involves you know, the travel of your soul. And restoring that harmony, definitely. Bringing everything back to balance. Right? Bringing everything back to the zero point. And bringing in the light. So, yeah, that might mean, I don't know, if your windows are a bit dirty, maybe clean your windows to let the light in. Um, yeah, it could be anything. It could be, I don't know, clearing out a room to... Let the light come into the corners of your room. Yeah, whatever it means for you is what it means. So gorse, this one. Gorse is all around good harvest, fulfillment, 
fruitfulness. So, the work you have been doing on your spiritual path is bearing fruit, is actually coming to fruition. That's what that means, yeah? Um, so the time is right on that full moon to realize a goal, a direction. So whatever it is, wherever it is that you've been heading towards, what it is that you want to bring to fruition. This full moon absolutely is the time to be focusing on that, on that intention. Okay? Uh, but working with wisdom, inspiration, the synchromystic journey, visions, love consciousness, and gorses also. Uh, one for restoration. So restore your being. Amazing. So, Birch. Can we focus on that, please? Can we do that? Can we do that? Can we do that? That, okay. So, Birch is all about new starts, rebirth new opportunities, initiation, nourishing your soul, um, embracing change, losing the fear of the unknown, good fortune, energize, high energy, joy, um, great life, new journeys, and also knowing intrinsically knowing that you are being guided by you you your higher self whatever you want to call that your your you are being guided by you okay and you are on the right path okay if you're on a path that is that is aligned with love consciousness or unconditional love whatever you want to call that your soul yeah then you are on the right path. Okay? Um, so I hope that helps you. Um, this super full moon. I say that was just a quick one. An overview. Um, so enjoy. <laughs>